Um, joined here by midfielder Diego Chara. Um, Diego, do you want to just start off with um, the result tonight? I mean, difficult, difficult. I think we lost uh, a really good chance to to be in playoffs already. But uh, now we have uh, another uh, game on Sunday, which is going to be uh, really important. And it's just, you know, uh, keep working. We'll open it up to questions. Yeah, it's uh, obviously a tough loss. Um, tired legs at this stage of the season, but is it almost a blessing in disguise to have a game so quick after this one that you guys can focus on putting this performance right on Sunday? Yeah, I think uh, it's no uh, time to, you know, be sorry. Uh, this game is gone. Uh, what you say, it's going to be really important on Sunday, you know. Now we, we need to prepare well, try to rest, and uh, be ready for that challenge. Hey, Diego. When Phil was talking about what we need to do to get through Sunday and secure the playoffs, he was saying that we need leadership, we need experience, and somebody that can help keep a calm head on the pitch. And that's you. <laughs> so how do you infuse that into the young players, into those players that were really desperate today? And what changes can you make as a leader on that pitch to help things calm down? I mean, it's, it's really difficult right now to make changes, you know. Uh, I think uh, from my position as a captain and leader, I always try to push the guys, you know, try to uh, help them to get the better uh, level possible, you know. Uh, sometimes that works, sometimes not. But I think uh, the most important right now is not give up, you know. I think that's going to be crucial in the next game. Diego, you've had a long career and you've played in a lot of like high leverage and high pressure situa games and situations. And I'm, I'm curious, you know, there's there's two games left. Do you feel pressure at this point in your career? Like, is that something that like you you notice when when these games kind of become more important? Or is it something that like you've just you know, you you've learned that throughout your career to, to overcome that? And like just just what 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 is kind of like the, the pressure level right now for you guys? I think for every professional athlete has to be a habit to have a pressure, you know, not just in the last two games of, of the season. Uh, I think that's the, from the beginning. And um, I think we may experience um, and learn how to manage uh, those situations. Uh, now we have a, a new uh, young players, you know, coming up and they're trying to uh, learn how to manage, you know. And the, I think uh, for me is a big part trying to uh, teach these guys um, how to go over those situations. Diego, Guillermo Mota con Univision. Eh, partido difícil. Hubo una jugada donde hubo un tipo de falta a Santi y luego Juan se metió. Hubo, hubieron unos empujones. ¿Qué le dices tú en es, a tus compañeros en esos momentos para mantener la calma, especialmente cuando están con un déficit? Creo que la, la tranquilidad es muy importante. Eh, sabíamos de que íbamos perdiendo, pero en esa situación perdemos tiempo. Entonces lo que llegué yo fue a decirles que se retiraran y que estaríamos, nos poníamos eh, listos para jugar, que necesitábamos empatar. Y bueno, fue un partido complicado, muy difícil. Eh, las situaciones que, que creamos eh, hoy no fuimos efectivos. Pero bueno, tenemos una nueva oportunidad en, en el domingo y, y esperamos estar preparados. We'll wrap it there. Thank you, Diego.